The Trump administration's changes to the U.S.-Cuba policy expected to have far-reaching implications for the country. Fern Carey sat down with a Cuban ambassador who gave some insight on this matter. The move by U.S. President Donald Trump to roll back provisions of its U.S.-Cuba policy is not sitting well with Cuban ambassador, Her Excellency Ismara Vargas Walter. Under the new policy, all categories of travel from the U.S. to Cuba will be subject to an audit and the importance of extraditing fugitives will also be reinforced. The ambassador noted that diplomatic and business restrictions between the U.S. and Cuba will also be tightened. It's quite interesting the reaction within the U.S. Uh, to the announcement, announcement made by the president. Um, Specifically, uh, some legislators from the Republican Party has been expressing their views against this new policy of the uh, U.S. government. Indeed, they have been emphasizing on the fact that this is bad not only for the Cuban people, but also for the American citizens. Currently, American investors and entrepreneurs are not allowed to have free commerce with Cuba due to the U.S. trade embargo against Cuba. The ambassador explained how the new policy will impact Cuba moving forward. It, uh, in, it includes uh, a greater control over the trips made by Americans to Cuba under the 12 categories approved by the U.S. government a while ago. Number two, it uh, eliminates the people-to-people -people exchanges, the individual people-to-people -people exchanges. And number three, it includes more uh, limits to the already limited uh, exchange in terms of commerce and economic exchange between Cuba and the United States. The ambassador said the potential impact of the new policy on the Bahamas will be minimal. Uh, the good thing is that we keep our will to continue our strong relations with every nation of the Caribbean, in particular with the Bahamas, and we will continue to cooperate in every area as we've been doing for the last uh, decades. As you know, we have uh, a very solid relationship, Cuba and the Bahamas, and we've been able to forge different areas of cooperation and this bilateral relationship in November, the 30th of November, it will be turning 43 years. Fern Carey, CNS Network News.